What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are back with my WWE Elimination Chamber 2023 predictions. The show is tomorrow, I do believe, at time of recording, and I'm very excited for the show. We have Friday Night SmackDown tonight. They might add a couple of matches to the card, maybe, you know, I feel like, you know, the kickoff show just really isn't pretty much even a thing anymore, which you can say what you want about that, not really too, uh, don't really give a damn, to be honest with you. But today, man, we're diving into Elimination Chamber 2023, a show that I'm very much looking forward to. Elimination Chamber, one of my favorite match stipulations of all time. While it is watered down nowadays, I still think that it is in intriguing. It's, a, you know, you can make for some pretty entertaining matches, and while that is the case, I think that the match is actually stacked this year. I'm actually intrigued with the entire lineup. I'm excited to see what takes place, but we're going to go through every single match on this card, break down the matchups, give you my thoughts, my full show predictions, what I think is actually going to happen as we roll into WrestleMania season, man. So let's shut the hell up, dive into Elimination Chamber 2023, and find out what this show's all about. All right, guys, so just dive Diving into our first matchup, it's going to be the first Elimination Chamber matchup. It is the Women's Elimination Chamber match, but it is not for a championship, but a championship opportunity. As we have six women squaring off, man, we have Asuka, Raquel Rodriguez, Carmella, Liv Morgan, Natalia, and Nikki Cross. Now, the winner of this matchup will get a Raw Women's Championship opportunity at WrestleMania, and a lot of people coming into this matchup are telling me that Raquel is going to win the thing, and I, I, I think that's a solid prediction. I don't think, that's not where my head's at. That's not actually where I am in this matchup. I actually think that Asuka is going to win this matchup. I am going with Asuka. I could be wrong about it. It's just a feeling that I have. I think that everybody was really into her new look, her new gimmick that she has going on here. I think everybody's been kind of waiting on that for a little while now. And having that dominant performance at the Rumble, being one of the last three remaining in the Rumble, I know she wasn't the last one. You did have Liv Morgan there, which I think is another great pick. I think Liv Morgan could win it as well. And I think you legitimately have three contenders that could win this thing. I don't think Carmella's going to win. Natalia and Nikki Cross, I just don't think they have it at this moment, man. I think that, you know what, I think this is a three-woman chamber. This is a chamber that only three people could possibly win, but I am going with Asuka. I think that Asuka's going to win. I hope Asuka wins. I think she's one of the best women's talents in the entire world, and I think that she would have an absolute ridiculous match with Bianca Belair at WrestleMania. So, I am going with Asuka to win the women's elimination chamber right here, and I, I just hope for a great match. That's all you can really ask for right here. If Raquel or Liv do win, I'll be excited for that as well, but Asuka I think is where the money is. Next up, guys, we have our mixed tag team matchup between the Judgment Day and Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor taking on Beth Phoenix and Edge, a matchup that I'm looking forward to. I honestly am looking forward to every match on this card. There's not a match on the card that I'm like, eh, or you know, I'm yawning, I'm ready to go take a piss. You know, this is a this is a card that's actually kind of stacked, and this is one of the matches that I think has had a great story. I think it's had a great build, and I am very much looking forward to it. I think that, unfortunately, Edge and Beth Phoenix can't pick up the win here. I know a lot of people are thinking Edge and Beth Phoenix get the win here, but I think that Edge is going to pick up his win at WrestleMania. I think we're going to get Finn Balor and Edge squaring off one final time at WrestleMania and that, unless they put both of those guys in like an IC title ladder match which would be great as well, I don't know. But Rhea Ripley's not taking a pin here. I think Beth Phoenix is eating the pin in this matchup, man. She's not sticking around. I don't think there's any point for her to be around right here and I think she takes the pinfall to Rhea Ripley. I think Rhea Ripley pins Beth Phoenix in the middle of the ring and Finn Balor and Rhea Ripley get the win, giving her a little bit more mo momentum going into WrestleMania, fueling the Edge and Finn Balor fire. I know we've been all over the place with this feud, but I am bought in, and I think that we're going to get our last crescendo at WrestleMania. So I'm going with Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor to pick up the win over Phoenix and Edge, and I just hope for an entertaining one. Next up is a colossal matchup that I am looking forward to, man. Brock Lesnar taking on Bobby Lashley. This is only, Honestly, this should just be a hard-hitting SOB, you know what I mean? Come out, murder each other for five six seven eight minutes and i like i just keep count just five six seven eight uh, thirty seventy six minute absolute five star classic no seriously though this should this should just be like a car crash it should be super entertaining i'm looking forward to it so much i honestly predict that bobby lashley will win and it's not just going to be a regular thing man i think the hurt business are coming out in this thing and they're going to get their their thumbprint on this matchup and brock lesnar will lose to bobby lashley because of hurt business interference i think you get the Cedric involved, which is a beautiful man and wrestler. Love Cedric Alexander. I think you get some Shelton Benjamin involved. I think this absolutely takes place. And then lastly, you do get uh, MVP. Yeah, MVP aligns with Brock Lesnar. I'm kidding. I think that MVP brings out Shelton and Cedric, and the Hurt Business reforms right before our eyes, takes out Brock Lesnar, costs him the matchup, and Bobby Lashley gets the victory. That's my prediction. I hope for a Brock Lesnar W. I hope for a great, perfect, beautiful matchup, car collision in the middle of the ring. 
I love Brock Lesnar, as you guys know, but yeah, I think Bobby Lashley's getting the dub, and I think it's from outside interference help. Next up is our Elimination Chamber matchup, our men's version, and our United States Championship Elimination Chamber. Johnny Gargano, Damian Priest, Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, Bronson Reed, and Montez Ford. This matchup is going to be absolutely insanity. I think with all these pieces you're seeing in this matchup, it just has a real Triple H vibe to it. I think that it's a bunch of future stars in the business, a bunch of young, up-and-coming guys in WWE. I just love it, man. This is a beautiful matchup that I am most looking forward to, maybe outside of Roman and Sammy, just for the storyline and result and all those things. But this one should slap. There's no, there's no doubts about it. I don't think you're really going to come into this matchup thinking anything else. It's, I mean, these guys are stacked. There's, this is such a stacked matchup, and I just think that the spots we're going to get, the moments that are going to happen in this matchup, I imagine Montez Ford with a massive frog splash off the top of the chamber pod. Bronson Reed's going to be wreaking havoc. Damian Priest is going to be wreaking havoc. And I'm not really even a Bronson Reed or Damian Priest fan. I'm not even a Theory fan, man. But this on paper has a lot of potential to be a, a ridiculous banger. And I hope that it lives up to the hype I'm putting on it. Or at least I'm, I'm coming in with high hopes and I hope that the matchup does live up to it is what I'm trying to say. But a lot of different opinions on who could win this one. I honestly, I think all signs port, point to Theory retaining. I think it would be crazy to see somebody else take the championship. I would love to see Seth Rollins get crowned here using the United States Championship going into Mania. Of course, his opponent's probably going to be Logan Paul, so it doesn't necessarily need the United States Championship, and I, I think that Logan Paul's probably going to beat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, and I really don't want to see him with the U.S. gold, you know, but I think Theory retains the championship, and then John Cena possibly could come out or something like that, setting up a Mania matchup, or maybe Cena interferes at the end. I don't know. I, I just think that we're going to get a John Cena-Austin Theory match. Only way that happens is by Theory winning this, and then maybe Theory goes on to lose to Cena at Mania, or we have a U.S. title match with, with Cena at, at WrestleMania, but I'm going to go with Theory retaining. It just makes the most sense in my brain, but I'd love to see anybody else win the championship again. Not a big Theory guy, but I think they are thrusting him into that superstar crazy role, and so for those reasons, I'm going Theory. I'm going Theory. I'd love to see a Gargano, Rollins, or Montez Ford win. I love the Montez. I love Rollins. I think that both of those guys are fantastic. I think Montez has a huge, bright future. I just don't think it's this moment right here. I think that Theory retains the U.S. championship, and I'm okay with that. And for our main event, man, we have Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn for the Undisputed World Universal Championship. Lots of story coming into this one. It speaks for itself. I was front row at the Royal Rumble. I need to have a damn shirt by now that says I was front row at the Royal Rumble as many times as I've mentioned that. That just makes me laugh just thinking about it. I was front row at the Royal Rumble. That shish is hilarious. Nonetheless, maybe that's a maybe that's a little Easter egg of things to come. But Roman Reigns and Sami Zayn doing war, man. I mean, this story speaks for itself. It's been cinematic. It's been beautiful. It's been something that wrestling fans have long waited for WWE to do again. A long term, just edge of your seat storytelling. You throw in the element of the bloodline. You throw in the element of, you know, the honorary Oos and the Cody Rhodes and the Royal Rumble and the championships. I mean, it is absolutely beautiful. And it's just a testament to things that I've been saying for years and years that wrestling is the best when you have and tell a great story. And especially when it's long term and it, it just, it formulates beautifully before your eyes. Just nothing like it, man. Nothing like it. It gives me chills to think about. However, Roman Reigns coming into this, man, I just don't see how Sami Zayn captures the championships right here. When you have Cody Rhodes just waiting on deck, waiting in the wings, doesn't make a lot of sense for Sami to win here. I mean, I guess they could do it as a triple threat. The way that they've been booking it and having Sami and Cody interacting and telling that story and, and the, the promos that they've had back and forth and the moments that we've seen unfold on television have been fantastic as well. So if they wanted to throw a triple threat in there, I would be okay with it. Oh, man. It's just insane. It really is. I mean, I don't... Wherever they go for Mania, that really doesn't have anything to do with here. I guess we could have another stepping stone here until we get to Mania. But I think Roman Reigns is going to still be champion at the end of the night. Much like I said at Royal Rumble, I don't know what the hell they're going to do. I don't know what's going to take place. I don't know who's going to interfere, who's not going to interfere, whether the Solo, Jimmy, Jay, Kevin, Cody. All the elements that you have in this matchup, which honestly all points to an Elimination Chamber match when you have that many bodies involved inside of a storyline. The Elimination Chamber is how you solve that issue, which would have been a fantastic match, by the way. Good Christ. Why didn't they book it that way? I guess because Cody won the Rumble. Nonetheless, just uh, nonetheless, Roman Reigns will still be champion at the end of the night. I'm excited for the crowd of this matchup. I think that Sami Zayn and the crowd, the Montreal crowd is going to be absolutely nuts. And I could see them like kind of squashing all hope and having Roman kind of bury him a little bit. Like you're not on my level, but I think that would give him nuclear heat, which I guess could be a good thing, but I don't want people to turn on Cody because of it. So I don't, oh 
Oh my god, man. Just a lot of elements to this thing. I think Roman Reigns is winning the match. Roman Reigns is winning the match. I just want a good match. Great storytelling. I think we'll get these things. I'm just intrigued to see what the hell happens. And that's all I can really say. But Roman Reigns will be your champion at the end of the night. And I don't see it going any other way, man. So I'm going Roman Reigns to win and defend his championships again. And I am done with this show. Until it takes place tomorrow night. And then I'm going to review it for you guys. And we're going to be right back here to talk about the things. But that's going to wrap up my full Elimination Chamber 2023 predictions, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Ran into some snags about my announcements that I have coming soon, but I hope you guys stay tuned. Stay tuned. We got some big stuff coming. I'm very excited about it. Can't wait to showcase it to you guys. So stay tuned, man, but I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me your predictions down in the comment section below. I'm getting out of here. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you tomorrow night. We'll never be